Hello fellow engineers and welcome back to Teardown. Yes, there's been another update, lots of new mods, and now the ability to spawn things wherever you want. So this is going to be fun. But before we get into that, you might be wondering what it takes to run a game like Teardown and all these crazy mods. Well, I'm super excited to announce that I've teamed up with Apex Gaming PCs to bring you my very own custom line of PCs. They're perfect for gaming, streaming, content creation, and even a cheeky bit of engineering. And yes, we all know that building a computer yourself is usually cheaper than going for a pre-built, but this takes all the hassle out of it, and you know that it's been built by professionals that know what they're doing. If you check out the link below, you'll see I've got different spec machines for different needs and different budgets. And if you use code ENGINEER, you'll get a 5% discount. So if you find your PC is hit with a meteor strike, and consider buying your next PC through Apex and supporting my channel as well. All right, so first off, we're on this map. We're in the Wild West. And we've got a train, and it's not just a train. It's actually drivable. Go forward. Look, we're looking out the window. We're on a bridge. And look at this. Oh, we are going to have some fun with this. That's quite a nice bridge as well, if I say so. In fact, I think it's time for a bridge review. A nice decorative arch. Got the strength to hold a train. Includes rails. I give it a 7.9 out of 10. This level also has drivable horses. <laughs> oh, good. I didn't know horses were this hard to drive. Oh, no, I'm trapped on the rail. No, no, my legs. Oh, it's okay. My legs still work. All right, I'll tell you what. Come on, then. We will meet on the bridge. <laughs> Boosh. Oh, Mullard. Oh, my horse is still alive. Oh, that is nasty. There's like a horse's head on there. Right, let's try and cable this. Right, so before we commit the sin of destroying this bridge, I want to see how powerful the train is. If we like cable it down to here, what will happen? We've got a load of cables on this side. We've got a load on this side. Let's hop in. We'll turn her on. Oh, nice. The wheels do actually spin. Okay, that's quite cool, actually. So if we just get rid of these cables. Ready? Last one gone. And the train is off. Nice. Okay, whilst it's going over that bridge, I'm going to go prepare this bridge. A few of these in here. A few up the side. There we go. I don't think the train has even noticed what's on the bridge. <laughs> oh, well, honestly, I thought nitroglycerine was a little bit more unstable than that. What if we give it a little helping hand? Bridge! Oh, my God. It blew the train up. <laughs> oh, man. That's sort of impressive in its own right. Right, and the bridge held very well, despite being broken in the middle. So I'm going to up my bridge review rating. 8.6 out of 10 and you might be wondering how would you get to that 9 out of 10 level well we need to bridge azzle which basically involves taking a bridge from looking like this and turning it into this oh man i spent way too long on this way too long <laughs> all right let's go get the train on it the question is where do we start the igniting just from one side or from the middle i don't know that train's taking quite a long time though so i'm just gonna launch a cheeky asteroid into that water tower please don't hit the bridge <laughs> Ready, here it comes, boosh. <laughs> nice, well, yeah, that did get destroyed. Right, the train is here. I'm gonna explode it from down there, I think. Whoa, <laughs> yes. Oh, that was incredible. That was actually insane. The bridge is still standing. Okay, okay, I completely miscalculated. That is a 10 out of 10 bridge. And to prove it, I'll take this train and we'll launch it at this bridge. Oh god, oh god, uh, hang on, I've accidentally picked the whole track up. <laughs> the track is like one thing, what the hell? There you go, the, tra the track is in the sky now. I feel like we've just removed the bridge's clothing, that this feels a bit wrong. Uh, where did the train go? I don't know, let's grab this carriage anyway. And then let's see if we were to... Uh, uh, die, die bridge. Well, as you can see, carriage disintegrated. Bridge, absolute legend of a bridge. All right, next level. I'm not too sure what I've spawned. Oh, shadow, shadow. Oh, yeah, that was it. Super, super high tower. <laughs> now, the question is, what do we want to do with this tower? I sort of want to have a go with this. This is an acid gun. And what I was thinking, what if we were to start on the top floor? So if we go all the way to the top and now we're on it. By the way, these do actually have floors. You can literally go up and down all the stairs. All right, so the acid gun, how does this work? It literally just makes acid that eats through everything. So can we get to the bottom? Oh man, it's really, really going for it. So we've pretty much acided ourselves to the floor. Well, that was pretty fun. What's happened up there? It looks like the middle of the building has shifted. Anyway, let's let's eat the corner of this building. Oh no, the game's not happy. The game is not happy about this. 
Man, the frame rate really does not like the acid gun. I tell you what, there's got to be a better way to destroy this. Like going into the new spawn menu. So if we go down to here, spawn, we can spawn a yacht. <laughs> I sort of feel like a kid. I'm going to I'm gonna take my boat. I'm going to make it fly in the air and just smash it into a massive tower of Lego. It's ready. Boosh. Oh, wow. Wow. That literally just made a complete hole. All right, if we take out the final chunk. So you can see the bridge has been very well designed by an engineer. It's a very, very sturdy structure. So if we just use our katana that cuts through anything. Ready? Ready? <laughs> Oh, and there goes the top. There goes the top. Oh, it is coming down in a big way, as on my frames. Oh, and it seems to have stopped there. That is precarious. That's actually really cool. Can I... I can pick up this entire section. When I shake it, it's just getting ripped apart. Look at that. There's no frames left there. <laughs> there go all the pieces. I got this part next. I'm just going to... I'm just going to drop it. Oh, I accidentally launched it. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, building. Oh, it's gone into the abyss. All right, well, that was fun, but I want to check this out. A city. But it's, it's, it's actually a mini city. I can throw cars into buildings. <laughs> I could also see what Meteor Strike does. Ready? Oh! Oh, look at them all move. They're all shaking and falling. Oh, look at that. <laughs> oh, man, they literally all fell away from the blast radius. That's so cool. Okay, I'm restarting this if we jump around all these carrots. Well, I think they're meant to be trees. Uh, there's there's cars. So we can literally drive through the city. When I say drive through, I mean literally drive through. <laughs> Screw you, building. I mean, we can also just completely trash the place with this car. <laughs> oh, it's so cool. Hey, look at the damage that did. I just flung a car around for a few seconds. Alright, let's clear some room. Let's get rid of you. Get rid of you. Get rid of you. So I want to drop a tank on this building. Actually, make some more space. Get out of it. Get out of it. Alright, here we go. We have a single building on its own. Let's grab this tank. We'll line it up perfectly. I think that's lined up. Alright, so we're perfectly lined up, I think. So if we just give that a little click. There we go. It's falling. It's falling. Boosh. Oh. <laughs> Right, honestly, I sort of thought the building would uh, crumble a bit more than that. Fair play building. Another feat of engineering. All right, next up, we're going to chill out a bit. We're in, we're in the woods. And what do we have here? Oh, we have a hot air balloon. What the hell? And I think it actually works. So if we... How do we get in? I can't get in. I can't get in. Oh, it's, it's collapsing. All right, now we're in. We can light the burner. And you'll see the hot air. It actually makes the balloon go up. Just like a real one. So now when we look at... Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> can this happen on real balloons? Uh, well, let's let's see. Can we can we get some height before the balloon fails? Yes, we're going up. We are going up. And um, we, we are literally going up in flames. Um, <laughs> oh, man. We're going, we're going really high. I may have put a bit too much air in here. I want, can I just, like, let us down gently by sniping a few holes in the roof? Let the hot air out. Ow! Oh! Ow! Ow! I'm on fire! No! Ow, I died. That wasn't fair. So let's restart this. And if we jump in a bit quicker, we can now set the burner without it touching the sides. And there you go. We've given it just enough that we're going up. Oh, this is so cool. Where I used to live back in Sussex with my family, uh, balloons used to fly over all the time, and it was awesome as a kid seeing these. Uh, never actually been in a balloon myself, though. Kind of sad. Maybe one day. I am. I d I'm not the best at height, so I will say that now. Uh, something I did want to try as well, just because I'm not sure if it's like, if this is actually a burner, if it is actually using hot air, or whether it's just some like cheeky game mechanics in the background. But I do have a flamethrower. Yeah, so shall we see? Oh god, that's a lot of flame. Oh, and it's, it's on fire again. Oops. Right, okay, so it's going down. So let's just see if we get in here. If we flame upwards, uh, the balloon's just coming down towards us. Uh, keep flaming. It, it will work, surely. <laughs> oh, no, it's going down. It's going down. Oh, man, that's so cool. It's like it's made a tent. Let's go inside the burning circus tent. Look at this. Man, this game never ceases to amaze me physics-wise. Uh, by the way, this is a this is a hell of a flamethrower. Look at that. Oh, it's all caving in around me. 
But yeah, wasn't that nice and peaceful? Wasn't that nice and peaceful? All right, next up, we're back here. Yes, we're on the ISS again. All right, just gotta, just gotta blow your way out of here. Oh, thank you. All right, this has got to be one of my favorite levels. Like, it's the whole Earth. And this time, of course, we've got some new toys to play with as well. All right, so this thing is called the Singularity. We can change what it does. So we've got all sorts of things. Attraction, repulsion, propulsion, anti-gravity, protection, combustion. So we can make the size as big as it goes. Five meters? Or is that 5,000 meters? I don't really know what any of these do, but we'll just wang them up to the top. Right, and then we can take this, and can we take it to the moon, and then just click, oh there you go. We've made a constant burning part of the moon. So the dark side of the moon is no longer dark, <laughs> although it, do it is definitely cooking. Oh, what has happened down, what has happened to Africa? Africa is lit up. Anyway, back to the moon, the moon is smoking. I love from this side, like nothing really looks wrong. But if you come around this side, it's a very different story. Right, whilst that's burning, shall we see what the antimatter one does? So I think we'll place this somewhere on Earth. Uh, how about Hawaii? There we go. Oh, man, it literally eats holes. Man, that's quite an insane image there. <laughs> but I'll tell you what, that's even more terrifying. <laughs> oh, that's horrible. That is absolutely horrible. I've turned the Earth into a happy place. Anyway, that's, that's enough bullying the Earth. Let's move on to the moon, this little brother. So I did want to try, if we head into that spawn menu, I downloaded a very cheeky new category, the Ocean Liner. Yep, it's the Titanic. <laughs> we literally have an entire Titanic to play with. Holy crap, how big is this thing? Look how big it is compared to the moon. What? <laughs> Why did they make it so big? Well, I was going to crash it into the moon, but I feel like... I feel like we won't even see that. Alright, let's grab the physics gun. A boosh! Um, apparently the Titanic is a lot stronger than the moon. There's only a slither left. Alright, what sort of damage did that do to you? Literally nothing. It made a little bit of a hole underneath. But that is it. Okay, we might have to do a full-on into the earth and see what happens. Well, this is all a bit surreal. What... <laughs> what is this? Okay, the the Titanic is literally huge compared to the Earth. I guess we grab it. We've got to be careful not to hit the ISS. Oh God, it's so long. That is not what she said. Uh, we accidentally, we did a little bit of damage to, where's that? South America. Sorry, South America. I didn't, I didn't mean to. The Titanic's just a little bit longer than I thought. All right, so I think if we just grab the Titanic and then we press R. Bush. <laughs> Oh, my frames. My beautiful frames. What happened? Oh, no. I mean, to be fair, that's actually really cool. <laughs> I mean, look at that. The Titanic crashed into the Earth. Uh, yeah, Earth, Earth took a bit of a beating. As did my frame rate. Although, it's, it's not too bad. Considering how big that bloody ship is. <laughs> look at it. All right, I've got another one ready to go. So, we'll get to the back. I want to go up. And look down a bit. And then... Huh, oh! My frames! <laughs> my beautiful frames. And there we go. Look at that. I think that is the thumbnail right there. That is beautiful. <laughs> oh, it's such a big Titanic. I had no idea it was going to be that size. Like, I know in this spawn menu, they do literally call it the PC Destroyer 9000. And I think that's a beautiful place to end. <laughs> look at that. What is this image on screen? It shouldn't exist. Why does it exist? I'm glad it exists. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for liking the video. And remember, if you're upgrading a PC anytime soon, consider buying through Apex. Yes, I know it's a little bit expensive, but you're paying it to get rid of all the hassle for if you want to spend more time gaming than building a PC. But yeah, peace, love, and bridges. I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.